All right, guys, today we're going to talk about whether your forehand technique should be based on a throwing motion. Or is that something that only very advanced players should be doing? Let's talk about it. Now, years ago, before it was even cool to talk about the forehand being a throwing motion, I made a video talking about how an old school forehand is more of a swinging motion, which means swinging from the shoulder from a fixed point and just letting that arm and the racket swing, and how the modern forehand has evolved into more of a throwing motion. I also made a video discussing how a throwing motion forehand is far better than using the motion of a pull. When we pull something, things get a little bit tight. And when you use a throwing motion, things get released. So I much prefer to think about the forehand as a throw than a pull. When we think about the forehand as a throwing motion, it can help you to understand how to get your body moving in the right sequence at the right time. If I'm throwing a ball or skimming a stone across a pond or throwing a frisbee sidearm, and I use that throwing motion, my body is moving in the same sequence as if I was to hit a forehand. Now I had a comment recently from a guy saying that a throwing motion technique is just for advanced players and apparently there's other coaches out there who are saying, hey, if you're an average tennis player, if you're just a club player, 3-5, 4-0, you don't want to be using a throwing motion. And there's some truth to that because you certainly don't want to be using a throwing motion like you see from Jack Sock or Berrettini, someone who's really throwing their body and their arm, their racket into the shot. But we got to understand that not all throws are the same. I can throw like this. Oh no. Attached onto my beautiful jacket. I can throw a ball like this. Right? I don't have to throw like a fastball and hit every forehand like that. I can just use a simple throwing motion. And that would be the same as me hitting this kind of forehand here where it doesn't look like I'm supinating and throwing all violently and everything's getting stretched out. But I am using my body in the same sequence I would if I was using, if I was throwing something. And I'm allowing things to release. So rather than pulling things or pushing the forehand, we can try and have that throwing motion, but we don't have to throw super violently. Whenever I'm working with someone, whether that's on court or online through my video analysis program, I'm offering different advice to every single player. Because everyone is at a different level but more importantly, everyone is comfortable swinging the racket the way they swing it. And I have to work with what they're doing and give them advice to help them to do it more effectively. So when you're watching my YouTube videos, you may hear me say this and say that, but it's not the right way to hit a forehand. It's just a method I often use to help a certain type of player. So I recommend you working with someone. Find a tennis coach or sign up to my video analysis program and we can work one-on-one -on -one and I can give you advice that is appropriate for you. Talk to you soon.